Hey guys and welcome to my channel. If you guys happen to stumble upon this channel of mine, my name is Belinda. Welcome. Hopefully you stick around and subscribe. So the video that I'm doing today is one that I feel that a lot of people could find really helpful. It's how to pack for a one night trip. I know it could be insane, it could be crazy, but it's definitely possible. I'm actually going to go to Chicago seriously for just one day. So I thought it would be a neat idea to show you what I packed and what I think would definitely be the essentials if you're just packing for one night. So if you guys are interested, just go ahead and continue watching. So first things first, before you even think about packing, you have to figure out how the weather is gonna be. Is it gonna be cold, where you're gonna need a really big heavy coat? Is it gonna be hot, where you're actually gonna be needing a swimwear? Because obviously, if you're going somewhere that's really cold, you're gonna be packing way more heavier than versus, say, going to LA because it's always hot. So first things first, figure out what the weather is like before you even think about packing. So the second thing is, where are you gonna put all these things? I recommend either a small backpack or a pull-along suitcase, but remember, it has to be small. You're only going away for one night. The bag that I'm gonna be using to pack all my stuff is this beautiful Dagny Dover bag. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But I am obsessed with this bag. It's really cute, it's small, it's compact, and if you look at the side, if you need more room, all you have to do is unbutton the sides to make more room. It has a pocket in the back for your phone, two pockets on the side, a zipper pocket, a pocket for your laptop, and this cute little pouch as well that is attached to an elastic band. So the third thing is entertainment i'm pretty sure wherever you're going whether it be in car in a plane or a train you always should pack something so you could be entertained here are the few things that i recommend a laptop a book a dvd player with blu-ray disc or dvds or a game console but remember make sure it's small because you're only going for one day so the fourth thing is toiletry i know this could be really really tricky because for everybody, it varies. Some people will find certain things a necessity, while others find some things not as much of a necessity. So I feel like I was able to kind of break it down to where this could apply to anybody. These are a must that you should have. Shampoo and conditioner to wash your hair, since I'm pretty sure you're gonna wanna take a shower. Toothbrush, toothpaste, that's definitely a no-brainer. Shower gel, face wash, and lotion for your body. Now. When it comes to people that wear contacts or have glasses, definitely add the contact solution and your contact case. I know that's what I'm gonna be packing because I wear contacts. So that's definitely gonna be a necessity, but overall, I feel like that is all you would need for your toiletries. The fifth thing is night clothes and the next day clothes. If you're just gonna be there for one night, you want to make sure you have some clothes that you normally would wear to go to bed and an outfit for the next day. If you're not sure what to pack, that is when the next step comes along, step six. So these are the only clothes that you will need to pack. One t-shirt, a jacket in case it gets cold, one pair of trousers, only two pair of underwears, a pair of socks, and a pair of shoes. These could be obviously a different pair of shoes that you're wearing. So for example, if you happen to be wearing tennis shoes and you wanna carry, say, an extra pair of shoes for your outfit that you're wearing for tomorrow and it's more relaxed and casual, maybe it's a pair of sandals or if it's maybe a more dressy outfit, it could be a pair of heels. And the last thing is makeup. For you guys that do wear makeup, I know it could be really, really hard to try to pack all your makeup into one bag. So I was able to kind of narrow down the essentials, which I feel that you could still be able to glam up, but without all the baggage that comes with all the makeup that you have at home. Make sure you buy a small makeup bag so you don't overpack. So first things you need is your foundation, whatever type of foundation that you use, a setting powder, a universal brush that you're able to use for more than one thing when applying your makeup, a beauty blender sponge, if you use a sponge to apply your foundation, mascara or a gel, whatever you use to put on your eyebrows, concealer, whatever bronzer, if you're into bronzer, and 
a lip color. It could either be a lipstick, a liquid lipstick. Try to get a color that you normally use every day. And last but not least, an eyelash curler. So this is everything that I'm going to be packing in my bag and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it so you can maximize your space. The first thing I pack is my shoes, all of my toiletry, my makeup, then for my entertainment my laptop. my laptop charger, my phone charger, my jacket, my pants, my shirt, Pajamas, swimwear, in case I guess I'm gonna go swimming, socks, and then my underwears. And then this bag, I normally would put my contacts or chapstick or any of the small things. I make sure everything's in there nice and snug. And then I close the bag. And of course, you can't forget your phone. And there you go, voila. I'm fully packed for a day. Mind you, everything that I just went over, you could adjust it that will best help you. But remember, the whole purpose is to pack light, not overpack, and you're packing for one night only. I hope this video was helpful and informative. I definitely will link all the information that I just went over down below. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye. When I wake up, before I pull out my makeup, I run for the bus.